We want to look at now what are called pinhole lenses or pinhole glasses. These have been around for a very long time, uh, and they take advantage of some phenomenon regarding how our visual system works. Most people use them because if you have poor vision, if you put these on, uh, it will be very often like wearing glasses, wearing reading glasses, where people go, oh, I can't see, put these on, suddenly they have better visual clarity. So we do use these in some cases when we're doing vision training because we tell people the brain needs to have some success in order to understand what changes we want to have happen. So if I'm reading something and it's unclear, simply wearing the glasses may make it more clear. So we often combine pinhole glasses with other forms of vision work. More importantly, we also use pinhole glasses in athletes who have had typically some kind of brain injury. If they've had a concussion, very often they are, they are hypersensitive to excess light. Uh, and what we find is that there is often a powerful motor response whenever we allow them to see clearly, but with decreased light. So as an example, uh, we're gonna have Micah just do a basic range of motion test. Uh, we'll look at her shoulder. She's gonna do internal rotation. All right, we get an idea of what her basic range of motion looks like, and then simply have her put the glasses on. You can put your arm down for a second. You usually give them five to 10 seconds to adjust so she can look around briefly, let her brain adjust to this new visual picture, uh, and then come back to neutral where she was before and retest. Uh, and very often what you'll see is that type of response. Whenever we see that, we know, hey, at some point during the day, working up to maybe 30 minutes, uh, per day, this is a great tool that will decrease stress on the visual system and typically improve motor activity.